Diane and Demerick here, ra, ra, ra. and can you believe it? We're on day five of our Routines Reset Week, our little virtual retreat. And today where we're going to finish off in style, and I'll tell you what's coming up today, we are going to have, oh, sorry, <laughs> caught by a timer. Okay, we're going to be taking our temperature for the final time this week. I've got today's mission. I've also got some ways that you can use your pamper basket in other areas. And of course, I need your help. And if you've, you've just joined us and you are feeling overwhelmed with things at home, you're, you're grumpy, you're angry, you just can't seem to, to have a, a clean, cozy home, we're, we're working on that all this week, so please check out the beginning of the series. Anyway, let, let's dive into it. Well, we'll start off with taking our temperature. Open your notebook, turn a new page, fresh page, Friday, right in Friday, house and self. First up, your house, your home. How do you feel about it today? Scale of one to ten, do not overthink this. One is, it's really giving you that horrible feeling in the pit of your stomach. Or 10 is, Diane, come on over. I want to show you how wonderful and cozy my home is. Yourself, how are you feeling today? Scale of 1 to 10, do not overthink. 1 is, you just wanted to stay in bed this morning and pull the, the blankets and covers uh, over your head. Or 10, you were jumping out of bed, just couldn't find out what, what, what the day was going to offer you. I hope you will look at back at your figures for this week. Have you, have you seen any changes? Have you felt any changes? Because we're, we're, we're not looking for huge changes right here and now, but what hopefully you've seen this week is that by really focusing in on the balance on, on, on the daily self-care, that's what gives us the energy to look after our homes, that's what brings back the joy into our life. So it all it all works together. So that's why we are not skimping on the self-care. Because so I know a lot of you, and I've, hands up if you've done this, I am exactly the same. We found uh, the fly lady system or minimalism or KonMari or getting things done. We thought this was going to be answer. But we forgot to bring ourselves along on, on that little journey. We forgot to look after ourselves. On, on, on to our mission for today. All this week we've been working on our homes. I've had you drag out your cleaning caddy, cleaning, adding a little bit of hygge. Today I want you to think about how you can translate what we've done this week and make it a part of your day, of every single day, and also how you can make it apply to other areas of your life. And one way to make sure that the self-care continues is by adding it to something that you're already doing, you know, making it a part of your, your daily habits. Once I have brushed my teeth in the morning, then I read my book for five minutes or I journal for five minutes, add it on something you're already doing. And the other way to do it, as I always say, you know, we can have the best intention in the world about doing things, any, any habits, but we need to have a time, a date and a place. You need to work out in advance when you're going to make this happen. Thursday in, in Denmark is called Little Friday. And it's traditionally the day that you kind of treat yourself a little. Maybe you have a mocktail or a cocktail. You meet up with a friend for dinner. And that, that, that's what I do. Once a week, I plan ahead and I get in touch with a friend that I haven't seen for a while and say, hey, on, on Little Friday, Thursday night, shall we meet for an early dinner in town? Shall we go to the cinema? Shall we go for an evening swim? So it's making it part of your routine. Every Monday morning, without fail, you stop off at a special uh, coffee shop on the way to work and you buy yourself a hot chocolate. So just putting it into our, our daily routine, our weekly routine, that's really going to make sure that it happens. And the other thing that we need to remember is it doesn't have to take lots of time to get self-care. Did you look at the comments yesterday? I asked you for your greatest simple pleasure. And if you read them, most of them did not cost money. They were drinking our morning coffee outside. And I, I love to do that. It, it was just taking little moments, uh, moments with, with friends, moments with family. Doesn't need to take a lot of time or effort. 
and and if you need help with that I've, I've on my blog i've got self-care for each fly lady zone it's actually themed by fly lady zone whether we are in the bedroom i have a a, a pillow spray thing that i spray on with with lavender you know and that helps you to sleep you know just something as simple as that so anyway i, I will put the links um, I'll, I'll put the links down below and also i want you to take the idea of of the pamper basket and see where you can apply it to other areas of your life. Now, you know, here in Denmark, we love our hygge. And I've made videos before about all the baskets that we use. You know, we're not into like plastic and stuff. We like uh, natural materials and, and baskets are great for storage. When I was doing the um, collaboration with Minimal Mum and there was a hygge basket thing, but I'll, I'll put the link up there. Our family has a, a, what we call a family snack basket for Friday night, and it was much it was much bigger when the kids were still at home. Now that my kids are grown, they each have their own apartment in Copenhagen, so it's just me and hubby, but I've carried on the tradition. And it's a, a Friday night snack basket where we have our favorite snacks that we can dip into over, over the weekend. And, it, you know, it doesn't need to be snacks. You could put in healthy things. My coaching clients, I tell them to put together a, a, a small tote or one of their office drawers. And in there, you can keep all the things that I mentioned in the packing list for our, our pamper basket. Some hand lotion, a little journal, a little photo book with... Uh, pictures of your, your family or your pets. A great idea for kids is having a small bag, bo box, basket, wh whatever you have. My, my kids had these little suitcases, which are really cute. Uh, and I, I won't show you the top because it's got my, uh, my, my son's name on it. But we, we use these just for putting in their favorite things. And then when we were going on a long car trip, they could take it with them. Or if they were going to a, a sleepover at somebody's house, they, they could take their, their favorite things, things that just make, make them feel at home or cozy or comfortable. We've kept these ones because we ended up using them for storage, uh, for you know the Gale Mag things. And can you take my idea of putting the pamper or the cozy items together in one place so it really makes it easier easier for us to have our little hygge moment our little cozy self-care moment and also it keeps it all together which is great when you've when you've got kids because you know what it's like the the toys seem to end up everywhere but you know that you you can switch them out have their, their favorite things in in the basket or box and then the next week we, we change them again okay now it's your turn to help me Thinking of, of this week, this, this reset of our routines week, what has helped you the most? Putting together a, a pamper basket, maybe you've put one together and you keep it in your car if you are kind of living out your car, traveling in your car all the time. Reaching out to a friend and actually planning for some, some play for yourself and you've got something to look forward to. Setting the timer, actually setting the timer and sitting down and taking five or ten minutes for yourself. And reading the comments on all the videos this week that have given you inspiration of how you can get that, that self-care into your day every single day. And uh, I did a, an interview on Irish radio uh, probably about, about this time last year and I explained that, that Danish hygge is like giving yourself a little hug every day. And that's what I want you to feel. I want, I want you to feel that little hug every day, but you have to make it happen for yourself. We, we, we make our own sunshine. And when you've got all these tools at your disposal, hopefully it's easier for you to make that sunshine. Like I said this week, I've had a case of the blas, but even, even if you're having a bad day, there's something good in every day and we, we can make that happen. So anyway, let, let, let me know down below uh, how's it gone for you this week. I really hope you have enjoyed this little reset with me. Coming up uh, the rest of this month, because you know I always like to keep it uh, fresh and interesting, we'll be doing a reset of our routines. I think also we'll be diving into our wardrobes. I've got some ideas. And I hope you notice that I'm wearing the uh, Danish flag colours today, the red and the white. I'm sending you a little hug, a little heart uh, from me to you. So all I've got left to say is thanks for joining me for this reset week. Live 
long and prosper. May the Danish hygge be with you. And I'll see you very soon with a rap, rap, rap. Okay, bye for now.